of time to get back to the ship. Use the directional. And above all, stay calm. This is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from 20,000 leagues under the sea, Kraken. Kraken making his way to ringside. He kicks us off tonight, going one-on-one -on -one with somebody who got a very big win last week. I, 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 I'm with you, CG. I think it might be the best entrance. It might be the best entrance in Hyper Fight Pro. Kraken came up short against the Prophet last week. Trying to capture the Twitch Championship. Which reminds me, let's get it started early. Let's get the prediction in. It's not for the belt. It's not for the belt, Red Car. Calm down. Not for the belt. It's not. Non-title. Non-title. Um, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to get a quick poll set up because we do have some business... Coming up, the second match tonight will be for the Twitch Championship. So we need to find out the challenger. So if we manage pull, new pull. Donovan captured the world championship last week when he defeated Sin in our main event. He, he won the belt 5-1 to one in an Ironman match. You can find that very episode on YouTube. You don't have to look too hard. A Kraken match. Kraken? There's a pun in there somewhere. He holds his newly won gold aloft. I like that the side plates are actually working. I don't like that for some reason, like, when they hold the belt in some of these animations that it glitches out, but looks great. The prediction of all, but my tower prediction record is very good. Oh, that's good. Brought the belt, smug fucker. It's, for the, it's not for the belt. It is not. This is non-title. Technician Magician, aggressive start. Wastelock takes Kraken down, showing off his wrestling skills. This is what won him the world title, after all. Right, I'm gonna get a, a pull running for the next five minutes. Technician Magician attacking DDT, beautiful. A pin early by the champ. Try to put Kraken away. We we offered Matt, Matt Donovan the night off. He said he wanted to get right back in the ring. I think he just wanted to make that walk with the world title for the first time. Kraken now throws the champion to the uh, ring apron. Oh, stiff right hands by Kraken. Oh, but answered back with a shot to the face. Nice elbow. Springboard into a car. Kraken, beautiful. Slips out of the way of the champ. Catches him with a Koji car off the ropes. Nice headlock takedown. Head scissors even. Right, so you can now vote in the poll to decide who the challenger for the Twitch Championship is. That is our match coming up. You've got five minutes to register your vote. You have three men to choose from. If there is a draw... It'll become a multi-man match for the Twitch Championship. Kraken, top rope. Oh, beautiful um, tumbleweed. Takes out the champ. He's gone for the cover. Only a one count. Technician Magician Matt Donovan will be looking to avoid tasting defeat on his first night. As champ, Topicon, hello. Kraken takes down the champ. Kraken, you know, equally as aggressive here as Matt Donovan started. Wastelock 
Cracking with a back elbow. Catches the champ. Ducks under the right hand. Starts throwing those strikes. They're an orthodox striker. Oh, just a series of big chops from Kraken. Matt Donovan's quickly back up to his feet. These two physically felt very well matched. Kraken goes back in the ring to break up that count. He will be looking to get a victory over the champ tonight. But he certainly wouldn't want it by count out because he won't get as much credit. If he can pin or submit the champ tonight, that would really... Um, oh, nice T-bone suplex into the corner by Matt Donovan. And a stomp to the lower back. Picks the feet. No. Kraken pushes him off. Kraken very aware that M Matt Donovan, he, I mean, to win the championship, he did submit Sin once again. Matt Donovan, of everyone on our roster, has the most wins by submission. Qu quickly followed by Von Lichtenstein. Hey, Jake, good evening. Welcome in. Predicted Captain Canada losing to H-Tile and Sin losing HFP World Tile. That's, that's two out of a lot of championship matches, but absolutely. You voted Von Lichtenstein. He was impressive last week. CG, not a wasted vote at all. Nice takedown by the champ. Kraken now, just feeling the pain reverberate through his lower spine. And now his arm gets worked over. Matt Donovan going the top rope, but risky because Kraken's right there. Oh, he drops down. Oh, nice left hand. But then Kraken cuts him off and he's going to drop him. Spine first onto the ring apron. Oh, beautiful. And starts working over the arm himself. Going to try and, like, soften up uh, Matt Donovan. Doesn't want to be locked in the Houdini. Oh, nice. Uh, not even a moonsault. It was like a moonsault sent on there by Kraken. Very unorthodox attack. Uh, he's got a couple, yeah. Technician Magician does. Absolutely. Uh, Von Lichtenstein is second. He's won a fair few matches with the Landlocker. Um, some uh, tag team matches, but no, Matt Donovan has the most uh, pinfall, or, well, sorry, submission victories uh, via the Houdini. Two over Sin alone. Oh, nice uh, Fisherman Buster on the outside. In fact, uh, the professional Chris Cole has a couple of submission victories as well. Because Chris Cole uh, submitted, choked out Cash, and he won a triple threat, actually, as well. Remember, we're still early days. Oh, they went for that roll through, but oh, the champ had it scouted. Drops the knee across the, across the face. Yeah, it's just a two count. Beautiful reversal there. Technician magician doesn't mess around. He's come very knowledgeable into this match. Cracking a very tricky customer. Matt Donovan so far. Oh, sweeps the legs. Cracking turns the tide once again. Oh, looked like I think he, I think he was going for deep sea diverticulitis. Oh, just stands him up and drop kicks him. Matt Donovan goes to the outside. Quickly comes back in. Kraken. Nips to the outside. Matt Donovan. Oh, it's a cat and mouse now. Cat and mouse. Collar and elbow tie up. Whips him into the corner. Takes him on. Oh, double knees. Misses. Connects to, with a turnbuckle. And then Kraken attacks the knee. Nice knee breaker. Goes to the corner. Could be looking to turn that tide. Is he going to turn the tide? No thinks about it. Picks up the champ. Turns him round and changes into a, just a stiff elbow across the back of the neck. Oh, and working the leg. Oh my word. Lady of the Lake. I love Lady of the Lake. This movie's the best. Johnny Saint loved doing Lady of the Lake. And then kicks him up the arse. Fantastic move. If I'd like to say Matt Donovan ever face each other, that must be a submission match. That would be very interesting. I, I'd actually, like... Oh. I think he's going to try and turn the tide here. This could be a big moment in this match. Where's the tide? Goes for cover, center of the ring. The champ is down. One, two. Oh, gets his shoulder up. That would be a real feather in the cap of Kraken. If he could beat, for the second time... A uh, Hyper Fight Pro World Champion. And Von Lichtenstein gets the Twitch title shot later tonight against the Prophet. The Anointed versus House of Lichtenstein in our second match tonight with gold on the line. I don't know if he was going for Deep Sea Diverticulitis. Very quickly, nice Tiger Suplex. Uh, not Tiger Suplex, Tiger Driver there. Matt Donovan setting up Kraken here. Oh, but Kraken has it scouted. 
A big stiff elbow. Oh, waist lock. Matt Donovan fires back and a nice springboard drop kick takes Kraken down. Oh, and a knee across the face. And I think Kraken might be bleeding, but Kraken, smart, moves to the ring apron. Matt Donovan pursues him. Hot shots him across that top rope. He's thinking, he's thinking, oh, he's not, I thought he was thinking a dive. Oh, gets pushed into the ring apron. Snapmare on the outside. And a, oh, chop across the back and a kick across the chest. War's been disappointed since he made his debut in my eyes. I don't think Just Nice has really done much to impress me. But Von Lichtenstein does have the talent from what I've seen. I think Von Lichtenstein's been very good. I thought Just Nice has been hot and cold. He's been very good in certain matches. Uh, Multi-man matches, he seems to go out quite quickly. I think it might just... Oh, kick to the midsection. Could be looking for nothing up my sleeve. Connects. Crack in center of the ring. The champ has him pinned. This could be at one, two... And a kick out by Kraken, showing real... Oh, strapped his feet! I thought he was going to go for the deep-sea diver articulitis. Fisherman suplex, he doesn't bridge, doesn't hold on for the pin, thinks he needs more. The champ, surely, just needs a little more. He's already hit his biggest move. Tiger driver stacks him for the win. Kick out at one! Kraken has done this before. He's shown just real heart. Kicking out big moves. Could be time for the moonsault. Connects. We saw him get a fall over Sin last week with the moonsault. One, two, and another kick out by Kraken. Impressive stuff so far. Hey, big man on campus. Yeah, I did make my own promotion. I, like, we used to call the creator wrestler. I, I kind of like these WWE games. I used to do this when I was younger. And it was like, allowed me to be a, a little bit creative, like on stream and stuff like that. So, like, make my own. Most of the wrestlers are my own. We do take uh, creator wrestlers if people make them, but I try and avoid having, you know, seven-foot-tall guys doing shooting star presses, as fun as that is. But right now, our world champion is being pushed to the limit. Kraken now looking to get a, a second victory over a world champion. And that's got to put him in line if he can weather the storm. Kraken... Slimy as ever, crawls up Matt Donovan and starts delivering those repeated headbutts. <laughs> That's clearly Paige's move. <laughs> Deep sea diverticulitis! Plants the champ on the Hyperfight Pro logo. Could it be his second world champion knocked off? It is cracking his beat the world champ. One week removed. From hyper from Matt Donovan winning the world championship against Sin, and he's been pinned in the opener by Kraken. Holy fucking shit! I forgot to hit his music. Well, that is very interesting. Kraken seems to show up, but only when the world champion is in the ring. Win. Holy shit! Not not new champ red car. The world champ was not, championship was not on the line. Fucking Nora. Deep Sea Diver Tigulais beats another champ. Genuinely, pixel by pixel. Oh, shit. Four contest is scheduled for one fall. And it's for the Hyperfight Pro Twitch Championship. Someone's got five kill on LinkedIn sign, Jesus Christ. Introducing first the challenger, representing House of Lichtenstein, von Lichtenstein the sixth. Von Lichtenstein making his way slowly to the ring. This is his first ever chance at singles gold. Admittedly, the only other championship shot he had was for the tag team belts, and the Flash Burrs beat him and Boris Handley. Von Lichtenstein soaking up the adjuration of the fans. You can just about hear them. There's about two of them in the front row. 5k is peanuts. You mu you're sitting on... You, you keep winning big on these predictions. Clearly. There's less fortunate people who, who would kill for 5k hunko bucks right now. Talking about SummerSlam, just while you're here, big man on campus, what do you think 
is it time for would you have Seth drop the world championship to Finn Balor or is it more interesting Seth keeping it or is Damian Priest getting involved I'd like I'd like Priest to still have the money in the bank but have Finn Balor as the world champion for a little bit of time to be honest Von Lichtenstein taking his sweet time not taking his robe off yet we await the champion this would be defense number three no, oh, number two? Number two for the profit. Prophet making his way to the ring. He defeated Honda Takio for the for the Twitch Championship in a Hell in a Cell match last week. He defended against Kraken, who just pinned the world champion. It is going to take something to take this belt from this man. Can Von Lichtenstein take that championship away? Since he's won it, he's been untouchable. There comes a time when you when a, a wrestler holds a belt, the confidence goes up, the ability seems to go twofold. He's twice the wrestler he was before. What is the song for the profit, by the way? Um, if Annie Christ, if you go to um, if you go to uh, you know where the schedule is, the about stuff on Twitch, a full list of all the tracks I use and a link to it is there. So if you if you like this song, you can go find it. This one absolutely slaps. This is probably one of the the, the one of the copyright free songs most of all people uh, enjoy. I do like the Noids music. It's really good. And it's completely free. Well, it's, it's, I mean, it's copyright free, but you can download it. The Hell in the Cell was great. It was a great watch. I really enjoyed calling that. We probably need to start edging towards a bit more of that, but I, li I like that it means it means more. It's chosen by the fans. If it's chosen by the fans, it's great, but, you know, the Iron Man match last week was probably one of the best matches we've had. Cheers, big man on campus. Appreciate that. The challenger, Von Lichtenstein. Right. And, and the Prophet. Who thinks Von Lichtenstein can pull off, which would be quite an upset against the Prophet here. You know, we've got to be aware. Both these men, they run their own factions. There could be some skullduggery here. Yeah, that was mental when he fell through the, the cell and then just popped straight up. It was like, holy shit. Never seen before in the same with the Prophet. I, Honda Takio, furious. Furious with... Uh, with management, they, they, of course, the Twitch Championship, you don't get a rematch. You do not get a rematch, so he's, uh, he's, he's trying to fight his way back. I think we'll see Honda Takio tonight, in fact. He is taking part in the Bloody Knuckles Championship uh, qualifier match. Oh, big clothesline since Von Lichtenstein. Von Lichtenstein backing off the Prophet straight away, and this might be a mistake. You cannot show weakness in there against the Prophet, the champion, who is... Uh, the much bigger athlete than Von Lichtenstein. Von Lichtenstein's got to use his technical wrestling. He's got to take the profit out of his comfort zone. He's got to grind this match. He's got to work the limbs. Well, I mean, Sin's the main man, but like, he, he, I mean, he was never the leader of the Anointed. Um, it, it's, it's hard to say how things are going to shake up now because right now, the profit is the champion Sin, he's a, he's a has-been. He lost the world championship. Sin has a massive match later tonight. He once again tries to pick up a big win and stay relevant. It's not going to be... Oh, my God! Von Lichtenstein misses a drop kick, and the Prophet counters with a big leg drop. I don't know how we saw that coming. Now, both men roll to the outside. We'll, we see a lot of this in the in their matches, especially Von Lichtenstein likes to break up momentum. 
But the Prophet pushes him off twice. And a third time, just... Oh, now works the arm, and then nice Russian leg sweep on the outside. Drops a leg drop of his own, taking his sweet time. Now, Von Lichtenstein cannot win the belt via countout. He can't win it via DQ, he's got to be careful. So the Prophet won't care. Prophet throws Von Lichtenstein back in, and raises a fist towards the crowd. I mean, it's a tough one, but... Oh, oh. Von Lichtenstein tries to shoulder barge him off the ring apron, but misses. Hits the ropes. Oh, clash, clash of heads. Oh, collar and elbow tie up. Again, Russian leg sweep, just keeping it simple. Starting to take the profit down. Oh, kick to the spine. And that's as uh, simple as it gets. Throws a, a wild right hand, but the profit steps back and picks him up and power bombs him down. Fallen power bomb. From this time, slowly, gingerly up to his feet. Collar and elbow type, gonna grab. Uh, the Prophet by the back of the neck. Gonna try and walk him across the ring. Prophet starts firing back those elbows. Definitely a strength advantage goes to Prophet. Von Lichtenstein has to stay... ...quick and agile. Not really his game. More of a technical, more methodical. Nice kick to the face, though. That That's the great leveler. And just a clubbing forearm blow. Working on the arm. Now, Von Lichtenstein, as I touched on earlier, technician magician Matt Donovan has plenty of submission wins. The Landlocker might be one of the most feared submissions in all of Hyper Fight Pro. You do not want to find yourself in that center of that ring in the Landlocker. Not many people have survived. Just biding in his time now. Oh, waits for him to get out of the corner and starts lighting him up. And another Russian leg sweep. My God. It really should be a Luxembourg leg sweep. We're going to call it that from now on. Kick to the midsection. Drops some even flow DDT. Hooks the far leg. Shades of Raven. Shoulder straight off the mat there, though. Now, often, we, Von Lichtenstein surprises by taking to the air, and he's going to go and... Oh, misses that! Like, the single... Like, just a, a, a bionic elbow from the top, and he does appear to be bleeding now on the outside of the ring. Kick to the midsection. Oh, just picked up and dropped. Almost like almost a choke bomb, but just doesn't even fall down with him. Stomps across his midsection. The Prophet starting to just pick apart Von Lichtenstein. Oh, backbreaker. Often we see Von Lichtenstein will take that risk. He loves hitting that suicide dive, which is very surprising. Very out of the rest of his repertoire. But sometimes he likes to go to the top rope and throw himself into a crossbody from the very top. Took that risk, went for the axe handle, and did not connect. Big chop in the corner. Oh, Prophet's going to feel that one. And goes for the pin. Going to make the Prophet use some energy. Vital stamina being wasted on these kickouts. A fucking lation. A revelation. Really? Oh. Folds him up. Did you think Sin was the leader? Oh my god, what? Lichtenstein driver and the Prophet's been pinned. What the fuck just happened? Wow. What the fuck happened there? I can't believe that. Out of nowhere, Lichtenstein driver folds him up and the Prophet just didn't move. Von Lichtenstein has just won the Twitch Championship. My God, snatches the belt from the ref. What a piece of work. I can't believe that. Whoa. I'm fucking stunned. I cannot believe he, he just won that. It seemed such against... I, he was starting to get some offense in, but... It didn't feel like that much, did it? Wow. Kraken couldn't win last week and, and felt like he was on top for a good chunk of that match. And then... Von Lichtenstein just hits his, hits his big move. Boom. Over. Done. Say no more. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. Former Hyper Fight Pro World Champion. Represent the anointed. Sin. Sin was our inaugural 
our first world champion. He won it via the world championship tournament. A surprise winner. He no longer holds that gold. New leader of the what? <laughs> He's not, not, no, 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 no. He's been in contention of championships, uh, Judd Calhoun, but he's never heard, held the world championship. We'll have to see what happens going forward with Sin, but... I mean, will he remain in the Anointed? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Captain Candace has fallen off since he lost the Twitch title, and I think something similar will happen to Sin. I'm back. Back in Judd Calhoun. Oh, really? Could it be that... That stigma when you when you lose the belt? You lose that momentum. It's hard to regain. Who's coming out next? Is it Captain Kanda? Is it Judd Calhoun? It's Captain Kanda. He is a former Twitch champion. He is the most defending of champions we've had. However, since his loss to Jolly Roger of all people, he has yet to win another match. He, he followed that loss up with a loss in his chance at becoming the world champion to Sin. He's met Sin before one-on-one. -on -one. Tonight they meet in a triple threat. The added bit of spice to this match comes out next. And he's a very popular man. Excuse me. Judd Calhoun making his way to the ring. The biggest personality, the biggest man in Hyper Fight Pro. He's got a great win-loss record, but he has not won a championship to date. This triple threat is exactly what he needs. A, a big signature win puts him right back in contention. I mean, the world champion, question marks have been raised. Kraken pinned our world champion earlier tonight. I mean, I don't know. That one took me completely off guard. Now, this is a triple threat. It is one fall. This is not elimination, which means there is no DQ. They can leave the ring. Oh, nice drop kick from Captain Canada. But Wastelock by Big Country starts walking Captain up to the ropes. And he's going to open up with a big chop across the chest. Now, Sin, neck breaker from Sin. All these men, I believe, have faced off in... Similar ways before. I don't think Captain Canada and Big Country have ever been in the ring together. Sin did defeat Big Country Judd Calhoun for his first ever world title defense. Captain Canada was actually Sin's final world championship title defense. Early, I, th I thought, honestly, I thought he was going to go for a wagon wheel already. Oh, scoops him up, slams him down like he's nothing. Pushes Sin back. Big Country. When Big Country gets. On top of the match, it is really hard. It, he's the unstoppable, like, force. <sighs> Alright, excuse me. Oh my god. <clears throat> oh, I'm seeing stars. Oh, no, oh, on the chair! Just... Picks him up on the show. Oh, Big Country's got a chair! So it's like, almost takes Big Country down, but he shakes off. Oh, nice bulldog from Captain Cat and... Decapitate Sin with a right handed uh, clothesline there. Jesus Christ. Big Country whips Canada, Captain Canada, Canada, whips Captain Canada to the far corner. We're just going to call him the captain now. Oh, Oklahoma Stampede. Just throws him across the ring. Oh, big left hand. But big Country hit with an elbow. Pushes Sin back. He's just... Oh! Chop block. Takes the big man down. Falls on the chair. But they're quickly back up to their feet. Captain Gadda sends him in the corner. 
He's, oh, he's thinking chair. Oh, misses. Big swing and a miss. Oh, now, but time into the gorilla press slam. Boom. Down to the mat. Sin. Oh! Choke slam by Big Country. Oh, blindsided by that clothesline there. Captain Canada. Oh, goes for Sin. Sin pushes him back in the corner and locks that chop attempt. Big elbow. And, oh, knocks him down. Nice springboard clothesline there by Captain Canada. Going for the cover. Big Country drops the axe handle. That's the thing with the triple threat. You've got to be very aware at all times where the third, op your, your second opponent is. Oh, nice doctor bomb there. Scoots over, goes for the pin, but Sin breaks that up very quickly. Sin, oh, nice hip toss. Takes the big man down. Captain Canada hits the ropes. Oh, spin round, neck breaker by the captain. Tries to duck under a clothesline, but gets scooped up. Again, I was thinking wagon wheel. Oh, world's strongest slam just plants him. Waist lock. Oh, backstabber. I mean, the risk Sin takes there. He's hooked the far leg. Captain Canada on the outside. Only a one count on Big Country. I think Big Country's taking the least amount of offense of all three men so far. A series of chops. But Judd firing back. Sledgehammer. Oh, he's just ravaging former world champion Sin with that sledgehammer now. Locks the punch. Gonna fire back. Kick to the midsection. Cuts him off. And Captain Canada reverses in kind. Clubbing forearm blows. Shades of the late great Big Van Vader. The Calhoun in the corner. Oh, Sin takes the ref out and Captain Canada. The bastard. Misses. Wild swing with that right hand there. Wait, stop. Oh, inverted all night long. Oh, springboard. Clothesline takes down Judd. Captain Khan has got to stay quick, light on his feet, because if he, Chad Calhoun gets hold of him, yeah, you're in trouble. Neck breaker. Rolls in. Scoots in. Oh, he went for the um, Oh Canada, that neck breaker. Nice, nice a nerve pinch there. May raise the Canadian and post wet dream. Sin and Captain Canada have faced off in a singles action before. Uh, yes, definitely for the world title. Yeah, it was crazy. Sin effectively squashing Captain Canada. It was it was wild, actually. It was really wild. That world championship. Oh, nice stinger death drop by Sin. Captain Canada on the outside catching his breath. Makes his way to the ring. Oh, a sledgehammer. A great equalizer against the big man. But we have a, a Canadian crossface. Now, Sin did submit technician magician Matt Donovan with this very move last week. In their Iron Man match, the only fall he got was surprisingly from a submission. Oh! Sin took a nasty fall on the outside. Close line over the top. Big country showing off the guns. Needs to focus. He's a big, strong country boy. He doesn't need to show off the guns. Kick to the midsection. And big neck breaker. Now, all this is legal. It is at referee's discretion. There is no disqualification in a triple threat freeway dance. This is not elimination, so one fall will win it. Nice neck breaker there. Sin picking up the captain. Collar and elbow type. Captain throws Sin back in the ring. Trying to get some... For oh, nice enziguri. Nice. Almost like an enziguri to the ribs, but I think Judd shakes off. Ends up in the ring. In the corner. Blindside. Judd planted center of the ring and Captain Canada playing about the steel steps. We have a cover. Oh, a near free count there. Call waist lock. Thrown in the corner. Oh, sweet Shane music. He's going up for the Canadian destroyer. Very few men have kicked out of that. Who's the far leg? But Judd's right there. Oh, a stiff kick. Oh, whoopee cushion. Big country, this is a big moment. If he, he he must be thinking wagon wheel. No, he's gonna light him up. Wagon wheel! No! Slams him down! Come on, dude! That was the time he hit the wagon wheel. Turns his attention back towards Oh! Knuckle sandwich! The Captain Cannon is there! He's got a kendo stick! He can't let this happen! Oh, he's not gonna let it happen! He begins lighting up Judd Calhoun! Cuts him off, kick to the midsection. 
bar fly, oh, almost like a bar fly DDT driver. Gets him up in the Samoan drop, walks him to the corner, gonna snake eyes him. The captain's there calling over time, kick to the midsection, gonna drop him with that neck breaker again. Big country going for the knuckle sandwich. Sin now carries Judd's out of it. Clothesline drops him. I thought I, th I was thinking uh, Sin Blade there, but I think he's got sinister intent on his mind. This is how he beat Captain Canada before. Judd's up on his feet. Judd, pay attention for the love of God, Judd. Judd, get in the ring. One, two. Oh, kick out by Captain Canada. Not going to get defeated by the Sinister Intent again. A neck breaker to Judd Calhoun. Captain Canada, back up. Sin now, just trying to cover anyone who's down. Not the worst idea. Not the worst idea at all. Clubbing forearm. Starts throwing elbows. Blocked by Judd Calhoun. Scoops him up. Throws him across the ring. Oh, he's looked for the wagon wheel. Sin stepped aside, but an axe handle stops Sin. Oh, Judd, that was the right time to go for it. It just, Sin was too slippery. Goes to, for the chair, ends up falling on Judd's head. Oh, no. Not the chair. Oh, it might have just clipped the chair, I'm not sure. Neck breaker on the outside. Captain Canada. Beautiful uh, clothesline there. The Calgary clothesline. Nice forearm shot, drops Judd. Sin throws Captain Canada into the barricade. Picking up that steel chair. Going to start winging it out Judd's head. My God. The big country boy is down. Oh, my God. Somebody leave leave Judd alone. Oh, DDT on the outside. Captain Canada goes in. Go, turn his attention towards Sin. Sin blocks. Waist lock. Forearm shot to the lower back. Whips him into the ropes. Clash your heads. Oh, big right hand. Stuns Captain Canada. Oh, Koji car. One, two. Oh, a kick out. Captain Canada digging deep to find the strength to kick out there. Lifts his shoulder off the mat. Sin slaps him across the face. Judd gets an elbow for his troubles. Oh, release German suplex. Oh, big clothesline. The captain absolutely decapitates Judd. Snap suplex. Oh, power slam! I was thinking he was going to go for the wagon wheel there. Goes back out to ringside. What is Judd thinking? He's thinking steel steps. What's he going to do with him? Pushes them back in the ring. Now he starts walking towards Sin. Now, Captain Cannon throws Judd in the ring. Probably thinking just get him away from him. As Sin starts to attack on the outside. Nice T-bone suplex in the corner. Judd, though, slides under the ropes. Sin caught him out of the corner of his eyes. Attacks. Atomic drop. Starts to pick Judd back up. And there's a cross face. He used that submission to get a fall over Matt Donovan last week. Really talking back on Judd Calhoun. But he cannot tap out on the outside. Manages to roll him off. Waist lock. Thrown into the barricade. Captain Canada. Oh, nice head scissors. All three men desperate to get themselves back in contention. I mean, for me, all three of these guys on merit could be fighting for the world championship any, any week here. So, a win here is huge. You know, you've got former dominant world champion Sin. You've got big Judd Calhoun got a great win-loss record and the captain he's got more title oh defenses than anyone word. Max Thompson welcome in how you doing Sin now arm wrench into the Russian leg sweep drops Judd on the outside we've got a Twitch championship match it is a big boy he's the biggest country boy we've got and I'd love for him to just turn around and punch Sin in the face and he does waist lock oh but a steel chair captain Canada fighting dirty Wastelock, an elbow for his troubles. Sin, former world champion, is trying to get back in the win column here. One week removed from losing his belt. Throws the captain into the barricade. Now just taunting him. I, yeah, he, he, just, he just brushed it off. Oh, Captain Canada hits the... I, I think 
Sim went for the Sim blade on the outside and Judd just brushed it aside. Steps aside. Oh, kick to the midsection. And again. They're dropping that neck breaker. They're really working the neck of Judd Calhoun. Captain Canada. you got to get back in the ring. This is the only problem with freeway dances in WWE 2K23. When they go outside the ring, all bets are off. You've got a 40-minute match coming. The captain lighting him up and plants him on the outside. Sin, though, walks over, grabs Captain Canada. Must be thinking, get him back in the ring, get the win. Oh, threw him into the ring apron. Slides in himself. Steel steps in the center of the ring. He's going to pick him up. The captain is now in the ring as well. With Judd Calhoun slow to get up to his feet. Oh, he does get up, though. Up on the ring apron now. Oh, sweet Shane music. We know where this is. The steel steps are there. Canadian destroyer on the steel steps. And Judd is right there. Oh, he thought he was going to throw a whoopee cushion. He went for a drop kick. Captain Canada takes Judd down. Sin can be pinned, Captain. Misses with the sledgehammer. Sin Blade. He's got to pin him. Out of nowhere, Sin Blade. One, two. And a kick out, Captain Canada. Digging deep once again. He's kicked out Sinister Intent. He's kicked out the Sin Blade. Sin misses the knee drop. Judd Calhoun's back on his feet. Captain Canada takes him down with a Calgary clothesline. Picks him up. He's going to have to dip in his bag of tricks. He's got to go for something else. The Canadian Destroyer's just not getting it done. Fuck it. Canadian Destroyer again. Sweet shit music. Canadian Destroyer. But Judd Calhoun is on hand. Judd, hit him. Hit him, Judd. No. Springboard clothesline. <laughs> takes down the big country boy. Captain Canada. Slow to react. Grabs the leg. He's going for a foot DDT. Not one. Wagon wheel! Captain Canada snatched up. Wagon wheel. Hooks the far leg. One. Two. And a kick out. Nobody kicks out of the wagon wheel. Disgusting. Judd just didn't have the strength to hold him down. A sinister intent. The champion. <laughs> the former champion. Excuse me. Judd Calhoun's busted open. Hooks the far leg. Re reach for the ropes, Judd. Not like this, Judd. And Sin wins. As always, hashtag Sin wins. Oh my fucking god, this monster. How? How does he keep coming out of these fucking matches with these wins? How does he do it? The Sin Blade was kicked out. Sinister Intent was kicked out. But then he managed to catch Judd Calhoun, who was hit several times with chairs. Go over and welcome in. Sin. I mean, he's right there. He's right there at the top. I don't know if there's... I mean, the champion lost earlier tonight. Sin picks up a wild win in a triple threat. How long before Sin gets his rematch? Probably not very long. I'm pretty sure we're going to see Sin in a match for the World Championship at Gold Rush. I mean, how can we deny him? But I, depo I, I, I pose this to you. Kraken has pinned Sin when he was World Champion. He pinned our World Champion tonight. Surely Kraken deserves a shot as well. And we won't discuss it further than that, but plant the seeds. Another one of my favorite entrance tunes. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, the professional Chris Cole. Chris Cole, master of the nine to five, the end of contract, and many other maneuvers you just don't want to fucking meet. Another submission specialist, as he likes to deem himself. We've got a surprise amount of, like, very good submission wrestlers. They're not... They've all got their own speciality, though. That's the thing. We don't have, like, an out-and-out, -out just submission guy. We've got lots of guys who have that move that it's just, if you get found, if you get caught in it, your time is up. Yeah, I can't believe Sin managed to brush off losing the title and pick up that a massive win in a triple threat. He has no ease, hence why he's the professional. Yeah, exactly. 
I really like, I really like his entrance theme. Again, this is a free song. You can find the full list of uh, entrance themes on not just Twitch, but if you head over to my YouTube channel and give me a follow in there, you'll also find all previous Hyper Fight Pro shows. If you want to see more of the professional, if you want to see why Sin is maybe the best in Hyper Fight Pro, I mean, his full list of matches are there. And unfortunately, hashtag Sin wins. We await his opponent. His opponent, Smoot Scotty Sharp. The master of the sharpshooter. Sweet and deadly, making his way to the ring. I think we should probably call his tag team with war, sweet and deadly, actually. You're going for the professional on this one. Not a bad shout. It is submission versus submission. You've got the, you've got the end of contract. You've got the sharpshooter, which will prevail. Will we? Will we see either? Will we need to see either? Again, underrated theme tune. There's some bangers in Hyper Fight Pro. This one, I just, I just like the beat. It's, it's much high, more high octane than most of our entrance themes, right? Professional. Sweet Scotty Sharp. I love Sweet, Sweet Scotty Sharp's uh, newer gear. Oh, just catches him like single leg drop kick. Oh, and a drop kick to the back. I don't know what was Sweet Scott, Sweet Scotty Sharp was doing. Just starts, just pulling on the nose, like pushing his thumb in his eye even. And the professional just starts dissecting. This is how he wrestles. Scoops him up. Doesn't let go of him. Suplex. Very nice. Scotty gets up to his feet. Oh, walks right into a right hand. Waist lock. Oh, neck breaker. The professional kicks him to the, in the spine. Do you like AEW game uh, now? I do, Richie. Um, my only concern with the AEW game is there's just not enough content. I think it plays. Dropkick from the top rope misses for the professional. I think it plays really well. It's really fun. But, the you know, playing the same mode over and over again, it, it, it's it's a dying game. If they don't support, they need another, they need an update, they need the... The bat, the you know the um, battle royale style match, the thirty man match, the online game. They need all that stuff now because people have lost interest so quick. They need to release a slew of creator wrestler stuff and get people back into that game. You know, new storylines, all that. Nice Northern Light suplex goes with the bridge. Only gets a two count, but again, early doors. The professional has really put a beat down on Sweet Sky Sharp. Goes the outside. Comes back in. Playing a bit of possum now. Sky now. Sky, the, the larger athlete. Oh, oh my god, he's gone for it. He's, he's locking an end of contract on the professional. Surely the professional's not going to submit to his own move. Fires those elbows. He's now into a bridge. He has outsmarted. I mean, Sky had to let go. Or was he going to get pinned? Oh, beautiful there. I'm um, just like slams him. Neck and back into the mat, but kicks out straight away. He's got, he's got no weakness. He even found a weakness in his own move, it seems. Suplex. Oh, drops him face first. The professional just dissecting um, Scotty here. And again, lifts him up, drops him face first into the mat. Oh, I thought he was, was going to go for that suicida. But he doesn't throw Sky straight back in the ring. And just showing off for the crowd. He is in control of this match. Oh, he's going for a super kick there. Sky whips him in the corner. Oh, back elbow. That's just Sky. Oh, clash of heads in the center of the ring. Collar and elbow type. Sky gets the best of it. And then nice deep power slam there. Just powers Chris Cole up. Oh, fires back, shot to the ribs. Big right hand. Oh, back elbow. Nice running drop kick there. 
Takes the professional down. Finally, Scott is getting some offense in. Some big right hands. Oh, chop block. Scotty feeling it. Now just kicking the professional. Tried to kick his mustache off his face. Collar and elbow tie up. Whips him far corner. Gonna stomp a mud hole in him. He's gonna look for that sliding elbow. Oh, misses! The professional had it scouted. Moves out of the way. <laughs> There's that super kick. He could be looking to end a contract. That's exactly what he's looking for. Locks it in. Scotty is in trouble. He, he pulled off this move earlier. And now he's in serious trouble. As the professional looks to choke out Scotty Sharp. He's fading. He is fading. Oh, starts throwing back elbows. And does exactly what the professional did earlier. Into the bridge. One. Only a one count. Professional, let's go. Kick to the midsection. Oh, fisherman buster and sits out with. Beautiful. Oh my god. He, I, thought, I thought he was going to look for that. Uh, the sweetest spear. Clotheslines now. Building momentum. Free clotheslines. He's in the corner. Oh, misses the spear. Scooped up. Oh my god. Whoa. Go to sleep into a German suplex. Jesus Christ. The professional not dicking about at all here. Straight on to Scotty. On the outside now. Wastelock scoops him up. Throws him down on the ringside. This is very... Oh, into the... Into the ring post. Into the barricade. Chris Colt misses a clothesline. Scotty, nice spinning neck breaker. Fucking hell. Sorry, B. Rich. I said, I said I do like the AEW game. I do like the AEW game. I, I don't know if there was an ad or something. I said I like it, but it's a dying game, unfortunately. Uh, there's just not enough content. Sky top rope. Drops an elbow. Right between the shoulder blades. This is where he's got to strike. He's got to... He's, not, he's got to get his offense in. Again, he's going to look for that sliding elbow in the corner. Stomp. Puts the professional down. Sliding elbow. Connects. He's set up. He's looking for the sweetest spear. Surely. Just needs the professional to get on his feet. Scotty Sharp catching his breath. Biding his time. If the ref could just move out of the bloody way. So we can see what's the way to go on here. The professional slowly getting up to his feet. Could be looking for the sweetest spear. Looks for it. Connects. Plants the professional. One. Two. A kick out. Manages to get that shoulder off the mat. But again, Sky Sharp. Again. Is he looking for the sweetest spear again? He is. He connects. He's surely too close to the ropes here. He is. Great ring awareness by the professional. Grabs that bottom rope. The professional looks out of it. He was in full control. And some big moves have really leveled this one. Rolls. Gets to the ropes. Gets on the ring apron. Scotty's got to stay on top of him. You got to attack Scotty. Don't let him catch his breath. Goes to the outside. Going to pick him up. Nice back suplex now. And plants him on the ring apron. Hardest part of the ring. It was like a rugby tackle. He, he just slingshot him and used all his momentum just hits the midsection as as quickly and as hard as possible I, 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 was, I was thinking he was going to go for it again might be looking for that top rope elbow drop we saw earlier and plants it again to the downed opponent the professional oh manages to fire an elbow back at him kick to the midsection fisherman lets him think fisherman buster plants him and a stomp to the midsection. Oh, I don't know if he, what he was going for there. Tried to grab the legs. Oh, managed to block a close line there, but catches a back elbow. And a gouge to the eyes. Going for that overhead belly belly suplex. Nice judo throw there by the professional. Oh, the running drop kick takes him down. These guys are throwing absolutely everything at each other now. 
just wrenching at the neck. Just getting, it's just back to basics between these two now. Just trying to hurt each other. Sometimes the best way to wrestle. Oh, it gives him a dead leg. Dirty. Never like to see that. Just firing that knee into the, the, the thick of the thigh. Stomps on the arm. And now it's a modified camel clutch and the professional's got nowhere to go. You can see the ropes. He's going to have to tap out. Sweet Scotty Sharp with the shock victory here. The professional started all guns blazing and Sweet Scotty Sharp weathered the storm. And again, another guy who's very good at making his opponent submit. Sneaking in the wind. Right at the end there, it's like psychological. I mean, where he's at, he can't reach the ropes, but he doesn't see how close his legs are to the ropes. Had to tap out. The damage was done. And Sweet Scotty Sharp with a huge victory. Evening, Mr. Jolly. How you doing? There's, some beam There's been some fucking shocks tonight, for sure. We do have a debut next. Cartel making their way into Hyper Fight Pro. Looking quite dapper. Senor Uno and Senor Dos are slated to make their in ring debut next week in tag team action. But tonight is all about El Jefe, the boss. His opponent is on a bit of a losing streak, but he could really turn spoiler tonight. On Jack Bulldog. His opponent, hailing from Newcastle upon Tyne, my eye man, Jack Bulldog. Jack Bulldog on a bit of a losing streak. Has had some very tough Molly Man matches in recent weeks. And I had a, a very close fought victory. Uh, cl sorry, close fought loss last week to Justin Ice. And now he has to take on the unknown in El Jefe with El Cartel at ringside. Let's see what kind of contest we get. Jack Bulldog will have the height and strength advantage over the smaller El Jefe, but, um, you know, appearances can be deceiving. Let's see what El Jefe brings to the table. And we begin. El Jefe takes a chop from Jack Bulldog early on. Jack Bulldog with a front f face lock. El Jefe, throwing those left hands out of it. Oh, beautiful head scissors takedown. Straight up to the top rope, El Jefe. Asking for Jack Bulldog to get to his feet. Throws a cross body, is caught in midair and slammed down. Jack Bulldog misses the knee drop. El Jefe has started quickly. Wheelbarrow, oh, slides through into a face buster. Very nice. You've got Senor Uno and Senor Dos at ringside, supporting El Jefe. Nice standing moonsault. 
Al Hefe wearing the white and gold. Jack Bulldog in the navy blue. Head kick into one man Spanish fly. Jack Bulldog has got to take him seriously. Topicon, hello! El Hefe, very quick to throw his his weight around. Oh, Jack Bulldog managed to sidestep that. El Hefe rolls out of the way. Oh, just a low kick. Cuts off Jack Bulldog. Roll through into a super kick. Very nice. So I think everything that's what she said, but I think she was lying. <laughs> Prefer prediction that El Hefe will win in less than five minutes. Oh, really? You're expecting an impressive debut. Starts stomping away at the lower back. And a kick to the face. Working the arm. Grabs the other wrist. I mean, we are at a seven count. Is El Hefe? Drops the knees across him. He's got to be careful here. Eight count. He's going to pick Jack Bulldog up. Gets back in the ring. Jack Bulldog is going to get carried out if he's not careful. He does get back in the ring. Starts a little throwing a head kick. Picks the leg. Nice dragon screw. Jack Bulldog got back in the ring. And I guess reacted as if he thought El Heavy was trying to get the easy victory here. Picks him up. Nice uh, fisherman buster. And drops the knee across the chest of El Heffy. And goes again for that, that driving knee. Goes for the cover. Only a one count. El Heffy manages to get the shoulder up. Rolls to the outside. Plancha by Jack Boto. El Hefe just walks underneath him. Oh my god. That must have hurt. Jack Bulldog paid for that miss. Staggers over. At ringside. Gets up on the apron. Gets back in. El Hefe calling an elbow tie up. Whips him into the far corner. Oh, and falls up with a clothesline. And UFO DDT. Very nice. Going for the cover. I think Jack Bulldog might be bleeding. The ref goes for the cover. One, two, only a two count. El Jefe. Oh, drives that knee across his face. If he wasn't bleeding, he will be now. Oh, firing back. Oh, super kick. Bulldog hits him with signature uh, super kick. One, two, could be a shock here. El Jefe kicks out. Kilburn would have took some damage. Oh, absolutely. That, that dive was high risk and... Well, it didn't work. He's going for the cop killer. Vera Breaker could be a... Maybe even an upset here. Jack Bulldog for the win. Only a two count. Senor Uno and Senor Dos at ringside. Don't look that worried. Oh, rolls out of the way of the elbow drop. Oh, <laughs> just launches himself across the ring into the Huracarana. And sets him up standing moonsault. Nice kick there. Jack Bulldog fires back though. Whips him into the ropes. Clash of heads. Scoops him up. Walking him. He's going to hang him up on the top rope. Bulldog picks up El Jefe. Starts firing those shots. Ducks under a chop though. Oh, looked like he was going for a springboard of some variety. He's planted with that back suplex. Bulldog going up to the second rope. Drops a fist drop. And goes for the cover. Is that enough to beat El Jefe? Only a two count. El Jefe has definitely taken some serious damage now. Another fisherman buster plants him. Center of the ring. And now just starts stomping across his back. And a kick to the face. You know, work that arm. Jack Bulldog, very impressive tonight. You know, some people thought El Hefe was going to come in with catch Jack Bulldog n sleeping, and uh, that hasn't been the case so far. Oh, he keeps going for that springboard, but Jack Bulldog is just too close. It will block it each time. Collar and elbow tie-up. Whips Jack Bulldog in the ropes, who ends up going over the top rope. Maybe El Hefe set up for the Toby Hukan, hello, and misses! Oh my god! He takes the risk, and he just doesn't manage to get the distance. This hasn't been a whitewash, for sure. But now, Jack Bulldog really showing an aggressive side here. Now, Senor Dos has made his way over. 
Oh no, sorry, that's Senor Uno. It's it's actually really hard to tell them apart. <laughs> Picks him up, slams him. Picks him up in that back suplex. That foot is under the rope. That foot is under the rope. Now he kicks out, but that ref was away to get fired. How's that racist? They're both wearing black masks. Nice head scissors takedown. El Jefe. Oh, drops him across his knee. There's that low kick again. Oh, plants and wear DDT. Oh my god. That one definitely hurt. El Jefe. To the second rope. Asking for Jack Bulldog to get to his feet. Oh, he jumped over the top of him. I think he I think he missed. I think he was looking for a sunset flip. Very cool though. <laughs> it looks very, very smart. He's signaling he wants Jack Bulldog up. Dragon Rana! Plants him! Oh, Jack Bulldog manages to get his shoulder up. Springboard. Oh, misses the drop kick. Jack Bulldog again with that super kick. Just collapses onto him. That is going to be it. No, a two count. El Hafe gets the shoulder up. Bulldog is throwing absolutely everything at El Hefe here. And El Hefe still able to answer. And now he's just stomping a hole in him. Uh, that, that Dragon Rana was one of his finishes. I'm surprised it wasn't enough. But he hasn't really hit any of his other big moves. And again, going back to the same well. Jack Bulldog just stomping on him. Oh, it's a great match so far. They're bo they've, bo they've both taken some serious damage. Jack Bulldog looking to put him away though. Center of the ring, cop killer. This will do it. El Hefe planted. Hooks the far leg. One, two, three. Jack Bulldog with a huge victory over El Hefe. A much bigger man wins. It's not all about skill. Sometimes you just need to be the bigger opponent. Jack Bulldog. Senor Dos and Senor Uno at ringside. Surprised they didn't get involved, to be honest. Kicked out of the Dragon Run, and El Jefe just didn't manage to get any of his offense going. Took multiple finishes, but it took him down. I knew she was lying. It's, uh, sometimes you got to be able to use it a certain way. El Jefe will be very disappointed with his debut match. Very disappointed. He's not the only one. Another shock. Is this the night of shocks? What is happening? Have we had... I mean... Even Sin winning that triple threat in a way was kind of shocking. Jack Bulldog picks up the victory. I got it right. Forward contest is scheduled for first blood and is a qualifier for the bloody knuckle championship to be crowned at cold rush making his way to the ring former hyper fight pro twitch champion honda takio honda takio still furious about losing the belt to the prophet and now the prophet's lost the twitch championship he's in hunt for a different belt the bloody knuckle championship is in his sights, but to get there, he has to win the qualifier. This fail for re elimination, it's simple. Don't bleed, and you'll go to the finals. If you bleed, you're done. Now, interestingly enough, last week, the anointed went two out of three. They lost the world championship. This week, they are 1-1 one and, one and they've lost the Twitch Championship. Can Reaper pick up a win? Spend those Honko Bucks.
Mutant number two, represent the anointed Reaper. Reaper making his way to the ring. He's the only member of the Anointed that hasn't held singles gold. I would go Honda to Kia, but this night has been full of surprises, so fuck it. Boris is winning. Wow. Going in on Boris. I mean, hell. Von Lichtenstein has a belt. Why doesn't Boris have a belt? You know? House of Lichtenstein. This might be their moment. By the way, we are we are gonna we are we are gonna bring in the women's championship as soon as I get a chance. I'm gonna work on some uh Bringing in some female talent. We've got a couple of wrestlers signed up. We will have a women's division very shortly. Don't you worry. We're all encompassing. We need a women's division. Can't wait till tomorrow my VR headset arrives. That will be fun. Oh, very nice. Summon him with your name. Say Boris once. It's kind of like Beetlejuice, but it's it, it's it's three times as effective. Say Boris once, and he shows up. Oh, welcome in. That's cool. If you you see that VR headset, have you ever have you ever tried out that? Oh well, obviously your VR headset arrives tomorrow. Are you could try out that American football game where you play quarterback. That looks fun as hell. I don't know what it's called, but that looks really really fun. Really fun. The funniest thing is there's a clip of a guy playing, he's going, hut, hut, he's walking over, and then he runs. He, like, scrambles out the pocket and fucking slams into a wall, which is just really funny. I mean, Hyper Fight Pro, some people say it's Land of the Giants. Some people, it's for the big men in wrestling. Here comes another one. Combatant number four, represent the House of Liechtenstein. The man of one name, Boris. Boris making his way ringside. Very calm, very articulated, very cerebral walk. Taking his time. Prime example <laughs> example of big man wrestler. I'm gonna play his breaches, basically R6 in VR. Oh, nice. He's he's proper. You know, he, he doesn't he doesn't do leg day. He doesn't do. Cardio, he just lifts heavy things. That's his way of working out. Lift heavy things, lift heavy people. That's how he keeps his physique. He is the muscle of House of Liechtenstein. But clearly not the best wrestler. Is Von Liechtenstein is our Twitch champion. For crying out loud. Honda Takio. Jolly Roger, former champions. They're looking to be in contention of winning that bloody knuckle championship. Now remember, you are eliminated when you bleed, so keep an eye on hands and feet. Oh. It's all about attacking that head. Oh, step up in Zagur. Honda Takeo takes Jolly Roger down. We'll see how this one plays out. Boris stamping on Reaper. Big clothesline takes down Boris. Now it's elimination, but you have to keep your eyes on your opponents because it, all it takes is one shot. Oh, super kick! Reaper st picks up Honda Takeo, uh, but Honda Takeo poison Rana plants him. Jolly Roger tries to get the uh, get the drop on Honda Takeo. Oh, big right hand. Well, let's see, still getting big man blood match next week. Oh, so ne next week is another fatal four way eliminator. Uh, qualifier. So the winner of this meets the winner of that at Gold Rush one on one. First man to to bleed will not be the the bloody knuckle champion. Oh, big shot to the midsection. Turns him round, picks, scoops him up like he's nine plants and big someone drop. On the tequila setting up Jolly Roger in the corner, big chop. Collar and elbow tight. Boris holds on. Kick to the midsection. Honda Takeo starts throwing. Oh! Nice face crusher by Reaper. Thought that was maybe going to make Honda bleed. Choke slam. This won't make him bleed, but it'll make him think about attacking Boris. 
Boris fights his way out using that big oh just slams Jolly Roger I mean midair big right hand double nerve hold and I, I don't know what Jolly Roger's doing looks like he like rolled through into a drop kick gorilla press slam by Reaper very impressive Reaper walked to the ropes Boris whipped far side oh big right hand Scooped up. Oh, over the top, bro. Jesus Christ, Honda Takeo with a big fall. And that's not an elimination. Oh, Boris just blocked a clothesline attempt by uh, Reaper. Whips him far side in the corner. Kick to the mid -shake. Plants of DDT. He's still not bleeding. Misses. Looks like he was going for a flying headbutt there. Big elbow shot by Honda Takeo. Nice suplex by Boris. Honda stalking his prey. Waist lock. Gonna walk him into the ropes. Oh, the low kick, but a drop kick to the back of the head. Reaper face crusher. Jolly Roger still alive. Still okay in this match. Oh, right hand. And another. Big spine buster. Boris slams Honda Takeo to the mat. Drives him through almost. Forearm shot. Tries to whip him in the corner, but he, he he manages to pump the brakes. Goes for a DDT, but Boris counters. Nice back body drop. Big clothesline sends Jolly Roger out of the, out of the ring and just stomps on Honda Takeo. In back season before this match, Boris told told me he got silver medal in the Olympic in weightlifting. He does look like a weightlifter, doesn't he? He does look like that. Oh! Reaper's out! Oh! Ripcord knee just like that! Big Boot sends Reaper to the showers early. We're down to three. That's the beauty of a first blood match. Reaper was having a very good match. It changes in the blink of an eye. Oh, spear in the corner misses. Oh, drop kick. Very nice. Jolly Roger. Picks up the big man. Oh. Try to grab him. Oh. Boris just throwing haymakers. In the corner. Oh, stomp! Honda Takeo tries to take out Boris, but Boris still not bleeding. Can Boris bleed? Have we seen it before? I'm not even sure. We could have a rocky moment any moment now. Down far side. Honda falls up. Enziguri. Boris falls down, but Jolly Roger slams Honda Takeo. Oh, and just tries to take his head off with that kick. Oh! A reversal by Honda Takeo. Kicks Jolly Roger right in the face. Turns his attention towards Boris. Picks him up. Low kick. Oh, goes for an uppercut. Boris cuts him off. A Boris bomb. This isn't going to help him. Jesus Christ. Jolly Roger, clash of heads. Into a Boris bomb as well. Oh my God, he's stacking them up. Boris, if this was just a normal match, could cover both men right now. Instead, he's just playing with the ropes. He's a simple man, Boris. Jesus Christ. Oh, Spinebuster! Boris is a monster. What a, what has happened? Oh my god, and our Boris bomb! I haven't seen domination like this, and he just... He needs to... You need to make them bleed, Boris! I don't think he understands what's going on here. Honda firing back. Whips him into the ropes. Oh, flying knee. Managed to duck and avoid it from Jolly Roger. Was looking to take out Honda Takeo there. Hits him with a kitchen sink. You gotta watch out for that flying knee. Jolly Roger loves to throw. Making them bleed is for the weak. I don't want to see him bleed. I want to see him die. I don't even know if that's a line from anything. It just feels like Ivan Drago might have said that. Boris. Just slams Jolly Roger into the mat. And not again. Another power bomb. I mean, Honda firing out of this one. Fighting back. Turns his attention towards Jolly Roger. Tiger suplex. Very nice. Oh, big shot. Ripcord. Oh, last samurai. Oh, flying knee. We rarely see the last samurai. Boris is folded up. Boris is out. Scoop slam. Hits the ropes. Gonna plant that elbow right in the center of the chest. Boris is fucking out of it. 
Big chop. Jolly Roger. Whips Boris in the corner. Oh my god, is he going to make him walk the plank? <clears throat> Not really the time for it. I don't think Boris knows the match type at all, Matt. He walks the plank. I don't know if any of these guys do. If they do, they're not. They're going about it the wrong way. Walks up. Snake eyes. Oh, that could have been it for Honda Takio. Honda and Jolly Roger are doing well to stay in there. They both got absolutely smashed moments ago by Boris. Oh, a nasty knee thrown by Jolly Roger. Flash of heads. Oh, nice arm drive. Welcome in, Matt. We've had some fucking shocks tonight, mate. You wouldn't believe it. Oh, flying knee drops Honda, but he's still alive. <gasps> Going for the bloody Sunday. Reverse. Boris manages to stop. Jolly Roger. Boris, get your head in the game. Keeps hitting those ropes. Honda. Walks over. Jolly Roger fires a back elbow in his face. Hits him with the kitchen sink. Boris. Now. Oh, Chop drops him. Jolly Roger. Oh, kick to the face. Honda. Just stamping. Just measures him. Shot across the chest. Still working his car. Oh, clothesline. Drops him on his head on the outside. Honda has time to work. One-on-one -on -one with Jolly Roger. Can he put him away here? He's looking for the Inziguri. Oh, just cracks him in the side of the head. Picks him up. Sets him up. Pelly kick. Oh, sparks Jolly Roger. But he's not bleeding. He's yet to bleed. I cannot believe this match. Still got spine buster by Boris. <sighs> Boris bomb. Poor Jolly Roger. I'm not sure he'll be able to walk out this match. Let alone... Does it matter if he bleeds? If he can't move anymore? Oh, drops up all of his weight across the spine. Onda Takio trying to get up. Boris hitting those ropes. Old school... One yard sprints. That's how you keep your cardio up. It's like taunting them thinking they have a chance. Right, match too fancy for Boris. No mind. This, it's meant to be, it was a fail forward. Remember, Reaper got eliminated. We had an elimination out of nowhere earlier. Quickly. And since then, it's been chaos. Oh, it hits him with the, with the uh, kitchen sink. Boris double nerve hold. Jesus Christ. A war unfolding in front of our eyes here. Boris picks him up. Surely Snake Eyes. No! Jolly Roger fights out. Drops a DD. Oh, drop kick by Honda. Big right hand. Oh my god. Back elbow. Jesus, Boris. Honda now. Oh, no, not you too, Honda. Misses the low kick. Big right hand. Back elbow. Back body drop. Oh no, back suplex driver even. Those low kicks just working over. Uh, Boris next to the ropes. Fires those forearms into the lower back. Picks him up. Oh, working the hand now. Jesus. Jolly Roger getting involved in action. Drops with a DDT, but Honda still in his... Oh, flying knee! Jolly Roger suddenly parked up. Big time. Oh, Boris is out! <coughs> he can bleed his own blood! We're down to Honda Takeo and Jolly Roger, two former Hyper Fight Pro Twitch champions. This match is grueling. All it takes is one shot. Oh, nice back elbow. Cuts him off. Doesn't want to get hit with that in degree. Kick to the midsection. Tries to duck this strike. Oh. Jolly Roger. Has taken out 
Boris, Honda Takio is not taking out a single point. He has to make Jolly Roger bleed if he wants to move on to the finals for this belt. Big right hand. Whips him into the ropes. Catch him. Oh, just drops with a German suplex. Picks him up. Kick to the midsection. Jolly Roger not done yet. He may only have one eye, but he's, he's fighting. Tooth and nail. He's going to make him walk the plank. I mean, maybe this is the right idea, but I would have I would have tried to hit him with something else. Walks the plank, and now he's got to make him bleed. He's got to be smart. Oh, he puts him in the ship's anchor. Oh, but very quickly, Honda reverses. Just try and make him hurt. Forearm shot in the corner. Oh, and drops the knee. Honda Takio is your winner. A fantastic fatal four-way. With twists and turns. I actually really enjoyed that. Lots of action, lots of signature moves. And then finally... Honda Takio moves on to Gold Rush, where he will contend for the first Bloody Knuckle Championship. Beautiful. I really like Honda Takio in that match. That's, that's, well, that'll be good. Here comes the challengers. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. It is for the Hyperfight Crew Tag Team Championships. Making their way to the ring. The challengers! America's favorite son, Trent Mason. Men want to be him. Women want to be with him better. They are America's most loved. America's most loved. Draped in the red, white, and blue. Making their way to ringside. They beat... They beat Flash Brothers last week for this title shot. They have beat... The champions twice, twice, two wins over the champions already, but now the gold is on the line. This is when it matters. This is when tag team wrestling takes center stage of Hyper Fight Pro. You think they're going to do it? I mean, with the way you're betting, oof, I wouldn't count on it. I would not count on it. Trent Mason and Butter, Hyper Fight Pro, oh jeez. But they got to take on the champs with the great music. Nothing to lose, put Freaky on America's Most Loved. But stick to your guns. And the points, the reigning, defending Hyper Fight Pro Tag Team Champions, Salt Lake. City the Animal Ben Archer, Big Tony D. The champs are here. Draped in gold and looking oh so good. The Salt Lake City Saints not going to mess around. They're here to get the victory over America's most loved and put this feud to bed. They'd like to go on to Gold Rush to defend their titles once again. They've got to get past America's Most Loved. They can't look past them. They've got to get past them. They've got they've got to beat America's Most Loved. Otherwise, they will not be involved at Gold Rush for the tag team titles. It's a feeling out process early on. Nice, oh, nice ankle pick. And then straight into the heel hook. Ben Archer not messing around. Quickly gets in. Bring it up, but Tony starts punching Trent Mason. He might have tweaked his knee there very quickly in that heel hook. Oh, dro big uh, knee by uh, Tony. Maybe not as hurt as I thought as he picks up Trent Mason and power bombs him to the mat. Just speaking the opposite of me, just so he gets hung up. Is that what he's doing? He's got a system and it's working. Oh, big fly knee. The animal Ben Archer. One of the livelier wrestlers you're going to find anywhere. Trent Mason. Again, very popular in Hyper Fight Pro. Back suplex on the apron. Plants him. Hardest part of the ring. Very dangerous. Collar and elbow type. Now remember, 
their win over the tag team champions came via Countout. Countout will not win them the titles here. This is a different affair. This is a different style. This is this is proper. This is championship level quality wrestling you're going to have to provide if you want to be champions tonight. Now Ben, very smart, takes out Butter and now Trent Mason hasn't really noticed that and now Ben Archer goes to work. Oh, nice gut buster. Butter laid out flat so Trent Mason can't make the tag. Oh, Plancha hits the tope on Trent Mason. Now Butter is there. Now Butter is not the legal man but he can attack Ben Archer. Kick to the midsection, gets him up. Gonna walk him. He's looking at the ring apron. Plants him on the ring apron and slams him into the side. Jesus Christ. Trent Mason, that could be a big turning point right now. Ben Archer put back in the ring. Trent Mason gonna take advantage of this. Trent Mason gets cut off. And again, that gut buster just drives that knee in the midsection. Very nice. You always back to Kato and Liechtenstein. Ah, yeah, Honda. Honda, Takedo, and Lichtenstein. They're your boys. I like Honda, Takedo, a lot. I think he's very good. Could he be our first bloody knuckle champion? Very well, might be. Very nice way he won that. And then he kind of flew under the radar in that match, but he's a tough son of a bitch. Hard to make him bleed. Here comes Tony. Oh, goes for that, that kick to the face, but Trent managed to block some of it. And just working over the arm. The bigger the arm, the easier it is to damage the muscle tissue. Or just driving his shoulder into the midsection. And then Ali oops him out of the corner. Sits him out, but doesn't go for the cover. We're going to see Butter enter the ring for the first time. Oh, hits him with a nice drop kick. The man is covered in tassels. Going to go for a pin. I mean, why not? With that many tassels, who knows what might happen. Ben Archer, not hanging about, quickly gets in, delivers the kick to the back. Oh! Dra diving headbutt. Oh, and hot shots him. But lets his guard down. Tony. Oh, nice double leg drop. Just across the thighs of Butter. Big, buttery thighs. Nice right hand. Measures him. Plants the boot across his chest. Butter rolling to the wrong corner. This is not a good position for Butter to be in. Oh, and just, again, working the thighs. And, oh, boot scrapes in the corner. Big Tony. Not messing around here. They have... The champs have cut the ring in half. They can keep Butter there. They are doing very well. Slams him in the turnbuckle. Now we might see the champs go to work. Oh, go for a torpedo. Beautiful. Uses his, his his tag team partner as a projectile. And then very quickly into the leg breaker. She drops his weight back. They're really going for Butter's thighs. I don't know what the what the methodology is here, but they've they've got a plan and they're sticking to it. You're good at title predictions. You did indeed say that. And then you did you did you go for Von Lichtenstein? I can't remember if you went for Von Lichtenstein. I think you did, right? Oh, wait, you got that wrong, didn't you? I thought you went for the profit. I can't remember. I thought you were a zero and six tonight. Tags Trent Mason in. Trent whips Ben Archer into the ropes. <laughs> nice power slam. Oh, you went for profit, ironically. Oh, dear. Just working that waist lock. Just trying to grind the energy out of the, the champs right now. Ben was rolling towards his corner. Maybe try and look for that tag. Get Tony back involved. Trent Mason. Probably better than anyone manage, uh, like at cutting off the ring in these matches. Really a ring general. Makes the tag to bar. Ben Archer. Set for a ride here. And it is a two-man ride. Beautiful back body drop from America's Most Loved. And a fist drop. Butter stomping away at Ben Archer. Butter has only ever had one title shot previously. It was for the Twitch Championship. He was defeated by Captain Canada. He's going to walk Ben Archer to his court. Slams him into the corner. Going to make the tag to Trent Mason. America's Most Loved. Originally not a tag team. Beautiful double gut buster. They've sort of come together. They've been very good. Ha having decent amount of success. Obviously one of the few tag teams that do hold a, a clean victory... 
over the Flash Brothers, which is just wild. Going to pin Ben Archer more out of trying to get the animal to use some energy. I didn't actually think he was going to get the free count there, but it was close. Tony came in, he was, he was feeling nervous. Could change in a few minutes, absolutely. Drives the shoulder in the corner and into that overhead belly belly. Going to walk over, tags butter. The momentum is in the challenger's hands. I thought Butter was going to go and try and take out Tony D there. Nice leg sweep by the Animal. Tags Big Tony in. The master of Darak. Butter set for a ride into the far corner. Oh, Big Tony. Oh, he's going to run him. Corner to corner. Slams him into the turnbuckle. A lot of power shown by Tony there. He's going to rack him. Oh. Butter scouts it. Fights back. Just drags his nails down. Post rack bomb. Tony fires out and drops him with almost like an inverted bulldog. Just manages to topple his... Uses his own weight to be a nuisance. And uh, Butter couldn't keep him hoisted up there. Back elbow, but Animal smart. Peppers him with a nice... Uh, punch, waist lock, takedown. This is a good, oh, good amount of offense by Tony here. And again, sizing up Butter. Butter again up to his feet. He's going to rack him. Butter in a precarious position. In the rack, but Trent Mason quickly breaks that up. Oh, beautiful uh, arm wrench by Bart. Goes for the cover. Oh, kick out one. I was away to say that would have been shocking. What an end that would have been. Very quickly attacks Tony. The animal is out on the outside. So Tony has to defend himself and think about his tag team partner at the same time. Oh, nice uppercut. They're fighting out just in front of us. I feel like I'm the only one talking, guys. Snake Eyes on the ring apron. Hardest part of the ring. Very dangerous. The red, white, and blue. They've got to be thinking that the title is coming home. Butter is distracted. He's going after the animal. Why? Tony going after Trent Mason. you got to keep your focus, boys. Butter now can w tries to walk Tony over to his corner, but his tag team partner's already been taken out. Tony fights out. Oh, big clothesline. Drops him. Plants him. Tags in the animal. Butter. Goes for a breather. Gets back in the ring. Oh, looks for a Koji car. Steps aside. Oh, no, we'll tie up. Nice flatliner there by the animal. Picks up Butter. He's thinking animal instinct. Oh, no, he's thinking flip reverse. Hits him with a flip reverse. He's thinking stage dive. He's got Burr. Stage dive. Connects. If Tony can can block off Trent, we have... Oh, we, we're not going to have uh, a retention here. Not yet, anyway. Burr has been planted. Oh, but manages to fight out. Trent maybe bought him just enough time. Gets his wits about him. Nice. Uh, for almost all, a two-handle credenza. It was similar to a free handle credenza, but he never hooked the leg. Trent Mason shouts something from across the ring, and he gets Animal's attention. But Animal goes and stuns him across the top rope. Butter blocks Animal from hitting. Possibly looking for the Animal Instinct there. Hard to say. Butter now plants the Animal and drops a stomp right across the chest. Try to cave his chest in. And he's thinking toaster rack bomb. We saw Tony manage to reverse this earlier. Not for not the animal though. Plants him. Tony with, comes in very quickly with a drop kick. Had that scouted. Knows that that is what Barr likes to use to put his opponents away. Gonna try and walk him over to his corner. He does so. Slams him in, and I believe the animal is bleeding. This, unlike earlier, is not a first blood match though. Double gut buster. 
Carter gets out of the ring. Bart taking a lot of damage. Trent Mason looks fresher. Oh, but catches a knee, tries to... Oh, nice. Uh, and then Bart attacks the animal, but the animal manages to get out of the way. And Trent Mason just lifts him up, working that elbow, wrist, turns him inside out. Beautiful. So he came in like a jaguar. He came, he came in quick. He was uh, lively, for sure. We could be looking at the American Slam here. Trent Mason, big right hand. Gonna try and put him across the ring. Does American Slam now. The animal is taking some amount of offense. Tony breaks it up. I mean, this is what makes tag team wrestling. This is what is so difficult about staying on top. You've got a partner. If it's a man you can rely on. Um... It can be very tough to beat. Trent Mason sends Tony to the outside. He's going to hit the ropes. Oh, outside dive by Trent Mason. You don't see that often from him. America's favorite son taking the risk and now just lighting up the animal on the outside. Beautiful Northern Light suplex. Now he has to win a pinfall or submission to win those belts. He cannot, he cannot let his opponent get counted out here because that will mean a retention for the champs. Overhead belly belly doesn't even doesn't even fall to his back, just releases him, kick to the midsection. For the chance, Michinoku driver, the animal plants Trent Mason. Gonna pick him up. Eight count. Trent Mason is standing on the outside. Oh, bar taken down. Nine count. Oh, clothesline. The animal taken down. And Trent Mason very quickly covers. Where's Tony? Jesus Christ drops the axe handle. Butter couldn't block him off. Butter is, has been taken out already. Trent Mason picks the animal back up. Whips him into the corner. Must be looking for that shoulder block again. And the overhead belly to belly. Launches him. What's he looking for? Oh, looks for the Mason plex. German suplex. I mean... Animal can only do so much. He needs to get to his corner. Trent Mason expertly cutting off the ring. Picks him up by the hair. Collar and elbow type. Gonna walk him to his corner. Smart. Slams him face first in the turnbuckle. I think they might even look for that. They're not looking for the gut buster. It'll be that double back body drop. Tony has to really pick his time to get involved here. Because right now... Bar takes him down. Oh, but Animal smart. The champions roll to the outside. You gotta avoid defeat, but Bar lining up Animal now. So this is what they did to the Flash Bros. They just decimated them and just stayed on top. Animal back in the ring. Trying to force his way up to his feet. Bar taking a moment to pose. Oh manages to oh manages to uh, block a strike there. And then nice judo throw by uh the animal allows Tony to get up on the apron. I'd, I'd be making that tag, honestly, Ben. Kick to the midsection. Butter answers back. Gets him up in the Samoan drop. Walks him to the far side. Going to snake eyes him on that top turnbuckle. He had a chance to tag his tag team partner. Oh, he was looking for a butter spread. And I think the animal saw that coming. And he's going to be walked to the far side. They've just got the animal just dead to rights. Oh, fires an elbow, but... Trent Mason with a cheap shot. Waist lock into the headlock. And just punches him straight in the face. Working over the arm. The animal just cannot get out of, out of that territory. Cannot get to his side of the ring. Cannot get close. Planted with a deep spine buster. Bar going top rope. Bar feeling it. Bar trying to put this one away here. Oh, frog splash. Low down frog splash. Shades of D'Lo Brown. Trent Mason runs over to cut the ring off and we have new champions in a shock victory America's most love are your new hyper fight pro tag team champions I don't think a single match tonight was that predictable Jesus Christ the fact that the only match tonight you were able to predict is the actual main event is stunning the Salt Lake City Saints taste defeat you're good at title prediction you went one and one tonight that's not that good. That's like, that's 50-50, baby. 
That's crazy. America's most loved are your new tag team champions. I didn't see that coming at all. The only match I probably would have predicted tonight was I'd have backed Honda Takeo.